Hey everyone, I'm Katie and I'm your Saturday for 7 Small Paws collab. I know this week has been kind of crazy with all the fill-ins lately, but I didn't want to do a fill-in this week because my chinchilla room is actually getting redone right now. I have some just adjusting to do and stuff. So I'm put together this video for you and I really hope you enjoy it. So it's pretty much just a question or answer or fact video about chinchillas. So please enjoy the following. So chinchillas actually date back all the way to the ancient times in the Andes Mountains and people don't know exactly how long they were there for, but they have been there for quite some time now. So actually here's an Inca right here, you know, just a normal guy. And you know, they have their alpaca and all that stuff and their empire, you know, big and stony. And this is a warrior, I guess, or king. And they've actually hunted chinchillas for a long time now. It's actually been over 500 years. So now you know a little bit about chinchillas history, let's start with their facts. Yes people, it's true, chinchillas cannot sweat. This is why it's very important to have air conditioning for your chinchillas because it is very likely that they can go into a heat stroke without it and any temperature around 75 degrees is very uncomfortable for them to be in. Some ways to tell if your chinchilla is going through heat distress is if they're very lethargic or just laying around. Another sign is red ears, but some chinchillas have naturally red ears, but if it was from heat distress, I think you would know the difference. So let's move on to fact number two. Chinchilla fur cannot get wet. This is very important because if it does, a fungus can grow on it and it can just be very difficult to get rid of and it gets trapped under the fur. So the only time you should wet a chinchilla's fur is if you have permission from your veterinarian to do so. There's a lot of different color mutations for chinchillas. Here's the standard gray, which you'd normally see. And this is Rose, my ebony, white ebony chinchilla. She has the gray ears, the gray whiskers, and all of that. And here is a teal V white ebony chinchilla which stands for touch of velvet white ebony chinchilla and this has a little bit grayer face and here is the beige chinchilla there's hetero beige and homo beige and um each one has a different parent that carries a gene and this is a pink white chinchilla pink ears and pink eyes and white fur and here is my tov ebony chinchilla which is a mix between a black velvet and an ebony chinchilla which there's a lot of different rarer breeds too. This here is the dwarf chinchilla, which has a very different body structure, like a smaller head. And this here is the blue diamond chinchilla, which is a cross between a sapphire and a violet. And that's very rare too. This is the tan, uh, dark tan chinchilla, which I've always wanted actually. They come darker than this too, but I really want one of these. Either way, chinchilla mutations are very difficult to understand. It's like taking a whole other language, but they're very fun to learn about. So if you read up about them, it'll be fun. So thank you all for watching my video for this Saturday on 7 Small Paws Collab. And be sure to watch for next week. And the new theme and challenge will be up tomorrow with Lindsay, Guinea Pig is Forever.